Darling, you must be fuming after that. Yeah, yeah, fuming is probably a good word. I'm very, very, very frustrated. Um, yeah, one of those nights, I uh, thought the fans were superb, stuck with us all game. Certainly after going a goal down, character of the team was good. But listen, we, we're frustrated. <laughs> frustrated and fuming is a good word, so I'm going to be careful in my words and choose my words very, very carefully. But I just thought, you know, pain punters come to watch a game. Rightly so, they, you know, they, they're slowing the game down, but the ref has to control that. He has to control it. He has to control all aspects of the game. But for me, he lost control. And uh, like I say, it's a frustrating night. The talking point will inevitably what led to the penalty and the red card. What was your view of that? Let's give the goal. Give the goal. We score a goal. It's the ball's in the back of the net. So, and then, and then he, he blows after the ball's in the back of the net, which I don't get uh, watching it back. But listen, we obviously we've got to score the penalty as well. But Butterworth strikes it well, keeper saves it, can happen. But it's just, it's just a frustrating night. Listen, there's not a lot to say about it. It's just one of those nights where. We often puffed on a difficult playing surface and uh, we didn't get the win we probably deserved. Last bit on the ref, can you even go and try and talk to him about those performances? I don't really want to waste my oxygen in my lungs, to be honest with you. I'm not. Listen, they have to evaluate that performance and, and see if it's up to standard, see if he let the game flow, did he, did he do enough? And uh, if he's honest with himself, he'll probably look and go now or never. So, but. We've also got to be clinical. We've also we've had good chances first half, good chances second half. We have to be clinical in both boxes so it takes the game out of officials and other people's hands. We have to be better, so we're certainly not taking away our responsibility. But uh, like I said, the boys' effort endeavour was there to be seen. But like I said, we're missing that end product. Was it that response that you were looking for after Saturday? Yeah, is in a lot more on the front foot, but still looked a tense tense game at times but it's it's a real difficult playing surface I mean it's there's nothing to be said about it it's hard to play football on that surface we, we, we can't use it as an excuse we just got to keep working with it and finding a way how we win football games and we should have won a football game tonight but we didn't so we go again it's a <clears throat> source of frustration I can tell for you about, about the pitch it, yeah it is because it always is going to be but like I said we have to we have to get on with that. The owners have put tremendous amount of investment into this football club and will invest in the pitch in the summer that makes it a, a decent playing surface. Uh, there's only so much stuff can do, so it's not a dig at anybody, but we, we know what we need to do, so there's no point keep going on about it and, and, and talking about it. We have to find ways of winning football games on it. <clears throat> Tom Conlon and Jamie Proctor got an hour in as well. In the long run, that's going to be beneficial for you and them. Yeah, yeah, very much so. But you know, I'm apologetic because I want to put on a better performance for our fans at times they pay their hard earned money and for me is is that we're finding it difficult to get what we want to do with the ball and on, on, on that so we have to keep working away in some ways are you looking forward to playing away then oh listen we, we try, every game we've been competitive well competitive in you know disappointing one or two games this season we we'll look to go to a Shrewsbury team that I think won the last five league games but we'll go, go there try and win the game and uh, kick on from here I know you mentioned before it's a bit of a sticky patch now what are you looking for from the players to get you listen, through this listen uh, for, for me it is, a, it is a bit of a sticky patch there's no getting away from that but a massive belief in the group one or two bodies coming back as well which is going to be a good sign so we'll, we'll be in every game and we'll, uh, we'll keep going right to the end